She was trembling with fear, but she knew she had to fess up and come forward. She came forward and threw herself at the feet of Jesus. She told Jesus her whole story, years of disappointment, years of being ostracized, years in isolation, years of hoping for a miracle, years of just waiting for Jesus to come in to town. This woman is ritually unclean. She cannot enter the synagogue. She cannot go to church freely to worship God. She cannot be touched or touch anyone because that meant she would turn the other person into being unclean like herself. But the time as she approaches Jesus, she had spent every penny she had on going from doctor to doctor. And then one doctor continues to refer her to another doctor, and that doctor continues to refer her to another specialist. Well, you need to go see this person. But yet, they get pushing her. There was no cure. She had become a source of disgrace. She became an outcast, an embarrassment to her family, her community, and society as a whole. This woman was desperate. She had no business being around people, and she knew that. She was forbidden uh, to touch anybody, but she was going to try it anyway, because she heard about this man named Jesus who was coming into town, and she was going to risk it all to go and see this man. She had nothing to lose and everything to gain. She thought she could just sneak up because in her mind, if she could only reach for the hem of his garment, that would be enough. That would be enough and she would be healed. All she had to do was to touch the hem of Jesus' garment and that would have been enough. But she had to get in the right position. She could not come uh, from uh, the front of Jesus because that meant Jesus would see her. That meant everybody would see her. She could not come uh, from uh, the side. She had to get in the right position. She had to get in the right angle. She had to come uh, from behind. She thought that if she came from behind, she could quickly touch Jesus and then run away, and then disappear and fade into the crowd. Her plan didn't work out, at least the part about not being noticed. Because while the people did not take notice of this woman, Jesus took notice of her. Jesus felt her presence. Jesus knew that this woman was in uh, the crowd. And Jesus asked, who touched me? Who touched my garment? And she said, it was me, Jesus. And Jesus responds to this woman, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Jesus restored this broken woman, to fellowship. Jesus gave back this woman's dignity. He restored her back to her community, to her family, to her friends, and back to society. Jesus gave this woman her freedom, her humanity. He affirmed and confirmed this woman back to life. He insisted that this woman was no less important than the religious leader's little girl. The woman was healed that 